it's me, GV, and welcome to this week's Sup Saturdays, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep this one a little bit quieter because I'm currently recording this at midnight. Uh, I want to be boisterous. I want to be loud, but my voice already has a very low undertone to it, so let's just keep it down a bit. First thing I want to say is that we're going to be doing a special stream on October 28th. It's going to be with Asgard's Wrath, which is this crazy new Norse epic adventure VR game. I'm going to be using it on Oculus Rift S. It's going to be like brand spanking new. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's gonna be just awesome. So if you'd like to check that out, uh, check out the Twitch link in the description below. Again, it will be on October 28th, which is, let me check what day of the week it is. It's gonna be the Monday, yes, Monday, October 28th, special Asgard's Wrath, this crazy big VR game uh, stream. Uh, the last Oculus Rift S stream we did was crazy. We played like Gorm and uh, Moss and other stuff. It was a lot of fun. So uh, mark that in your calendars, calendars or whatever you want to do, but uh, we'll be doing that October 28th. Now what I wanted to do for this sub Saturdays is kind of conglomerate all of my series into one video uh, to talk about them very quickly and to let you know if you didn't know certain series that I've done so you can watch them if you so wish. Everything I'm going to be talking about is going to be in the description below as well as, uh, as well as in the pinned comment below. So if you want to check out those series, feel free to watch them. Um, I just kind of want to have a video where I talk about all of the stuff that I've done on YouTube to, uh, so that it can be in one place. Now these are going to be the main series the meat and potatoes of my channel. There's gonna be other series that I'm not really gonna talk about. If you really wanna go on a Grovana deep dive, uh, you know, just check out the playlists uh, tab on my channel and you can see everything. But this is gonna be just about the main stuff that I've like finished, concluded, and feel proud about in some way. The first one of which is Skyrim's Hidden, uh, Skyrim's Hidden Treasures, which is like one of the biggest series I've ever done. This basically uh, was started a long time ago and I just explored locations not related to main or side quests. Basically, the idea was to fully explore a location in Skyrim that most people would miss because you'd have to know to go there or just stumble on it yourself. Uh, this is a hugely popular series, one of my biggest ever, and many of you probably are familiar with it, but if you want to check it out, it's down there. Sub Saturday is also one of my longest running uh, series. The series that you're watching right now just updates abound, odds and ends, random sorts of stuff. Most of you are also familiar with this series, most likely but that's also below. We've got Let's Play Skyrim Falscar. This was a big like sort of uh, mod um, where you go to a new land and experience a custom made story from the ground up. Uh, definitely not one of my favorite mods, but it was pretty good and it had a lot of work put into it. Uh, pretty big mod at the time when it first came out. If you'd like to watch that, down there. Let's play Oblivion, the original. Uh, one of my most popular series also, and I'm surprised because I go back and watch some of those videos, uh, just bits here and there, and I just, it, you can tell it's like old GV. You can just tell I didn't know really what I was doing, although I was pretty knowledgeable about it, so I think that's why people really dug it. But if you want to watch the first big Let's Play Oblivion series, uh, it's also down below. Let's play Skyrim Spectraverse of the Magna J. This was a crazy mod that added all these crazy spell effects. A lot of work went uh, into it and it had some, I remember, really crazy visual effects. Really, really, really cool mod. Really dug it. I remember the creator was watching the series as I was making it. Uh, if you want to see some Skyrim mod content and haven't seen Secrets of the Magna J, check it out. Let's Play Morwen Overhaul 3.0. This was like my Let's Play Morwen series uh, where I used the Overhaul 3.0 mod, uh, which just kind of converts a lot of it to be playable, in my opinion. And I... I'm gonna do that again if I ever do another Morwen mod. Um, I thought it was a pretty good playthrough, although near the end I was getting kind of frustrated with it and I remember cheating a little bit using the console here and there. Uh, it was before the time where I was like, okay, let's finish the series right, let's do a series right from start to finish and let's never cheat or use the console or anything like that. But overall still a pretty good series and the only fully done Let's Play Morwen on my channel currently. Let's play Dark Souls 2 Crown of the Sunken King DLC. This was when this DLC first came out. Um, I was and still am a gigantic fan of Souls. I do that a lot over on my Twitch channel. Uh, this was just a start to finish playthrough of the Crown of the Sunken King. I don't remember much about it. I think it's good if you want to watch a really short playthrough. Um, but yeah, check that out if you so wish. Let's play Fallout 3, my only current Fallout 3 Let's Play. I'm probably going to do 100% of that too because I really want to return to that. It's been a long time since I've played Fallout 3. 
um, but I have a full playthrough of it. Uh, nor normally my non-100% playthroughs are pretty much everything that I wanted to do in the game, the major quests, the main quest line, uh, some if not all of the DLCs, that sort of thing. So probably going to do a 100% series of Fallout 3 in the future at some point, but right now the only one on my channel is Let's Play Fallout 3. Let's Play Chrono Trigger, my favorite game of all time for the SNES. Uh, amazingly classic, amazingly beautiful, amazingly classic doesn't make much sense, you know what I mean. Amazing classic and beautiful JRPG, I love it so much, and I thought, even though it's pretty old at this point in time, I think it's one of my best uh, series ever. I think you'll really enjoy it, you have to obviously be willing to watch something that's old, but I think I did a really good job with it. Everybody that goes and watches that tells me they really liked it, which makes me feel good because it's a very old series, um, but it's one that's pretty close to my heart. Let's play Hotline Miami. This is one of those weird offshoot ones. I uh, was really interested in it when it first came out, wanted to do a playthrough, and we beat it. I think there's some good rage in there because it's a rage-inducing game, and again, it was it's pretty old, so I didn't know what I was doing, but if you ever wanted to watch me play uh, Hotline Miami, it's down there. Let's play Skyrim Worms 2. This was another big mod like Falscar, and I, to be honest, I kind of get those two confused. I think Worms Tooth was the better mod. I think I enjoyed my time in Worms Tooth a lot more, but same sort of thing. You go to a new land, there's new quests, new characters, that sort of thing. Uh, I remember it being pretty gosh darn good, and it might even not be available anymore? I think I may have heard that you can't even play it anymore, so if you have never seen Worms Tooth and you want to watch a really interesting Skyrim mod, down below. My first Let's Play New Vegas, Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, I think it came out pretty good. I really honestly don't remember much about it. I know that it was like cursed. We were doing it on Xbox 360 and there were a lot of issues with it, a lot of episodes where I just uploaded the audio or the video. I can't even remember, I, was, I, can't, I can't even believe I would do that. I would never do that now, but um, that's, ugh. I think it was a good playthrough overall though. Um, who, who was the name of that guy in that one? Uh, that was Arizona, I think. People seem to like that one. Um, it's good, but obviously I'm doing a 100% New Vegas now, and I think this now, the now one is, is better, personally, but I mean, uh, they both probably are a lot different, so if you wanna go watch and uh, go back and watch the original New Vegas playthrough, it's there. Let's play Fallout 4. To be honest, I'm not really happy with that one. Um, Fallout 4 currently is like my least favorite Fallout game. A um, lot of issues I have with it, a lot of improvements Bethesda could have made, and I don't think I did that great in the Let's Play. I remember it being a challenging, uh, weird one. Um, I hold myself to very high standards though, so it's probably still pretty good, but I just would definitely do a lot of different things with it. But if you wanna watch me go play Fallout 4, it is also there, and it's one of the shorter series too. I think um, I just wasn't enjoying it as much as the others and uh, got through it a little quicker. Fallout 4's Hidden Treasures did pretty well. Same idea as Skyrim's, you know, go through Fallout 4 locations that aren't tied to main quests or side quests, ones that people are going to usually miss. There's some blunders here and there because I was really trying to research it when it first came out and some locations very much seem to not be quest related and then lo and behold they turned out to be quest related. So there's some blunders here and there but overall I think it's a pretty strong series with a lot of really interesting locations in Fallout 4 if you want to watch those. The big one, Let's 100% Skyrim, my most popular series to date, I think. Very, very proud of this one. One of the, one of my best series ever made, easily. Um, I just really gave it my all. I think since then I've really improved as a content creator, so going back I'd probably do a better job, but you know, for the time that it came out, um, it was just crazy. I remember people coming over to my live stream when we were doing some grinding stuff and we hit the highest view counts we ever did uh, because that series was just so popular. Uh, that series is largely responsible uh, for why I can still pay for this house just because it did so well and continues to accrue views. Um, it's the big one. I mean if you're here and you don't know about that one I would be very surprised but yeah let's 100% Skyrim. That's the big boy. I did all of Fallout 4's DLCs uh, as playthroughs. Again, same sort of thing as Fallout 4, the main playthrough. Just wasn't like too into it. It was exciting. I think they came out decent, but overall I've done much better with other series. But if you want to check out any of the Fallout 4 DLCs that I've done, links are below. And then the other one is Doom uh, 2016, which I thought was a pretty good series too. It's one of those odd man out ones because I'm not really known for Doom. But I love that game. I 100%ed that game. And I think the series was pretty strong. So if you've ever wanted, wanted, me to, uh, wanted to watch me 
play 2016's Doom, uh, that is also there. We've got Let's Play Dishonored 2. I think I did okay with it. That was a challenging one because I'm not that great at Dishonored, and Dishonored is a little mechanically complex, so oftentimes I, I remember I didn't really know what to say or commentate about because it was just sort of, you know, waiting for guards to move around and doing this right and doing that right. Um, I think it, again, came out decently, but I definitely could have improved on it for sure. But once again, if you've ever wanted to watch me play Dishonored 2, it's down there. Let's play Fallout 1. This one's pretty close to my heart too because it did so much better than I ever would have expected. I think we pretty much 100%ed it um, as best as I could without knowing too much about the game because it's not that big. So we were able to do most, if not everything in the game. And I really enjoyed my time with it. Um, it was surprisingly good and surprising. It, it, it was able to, what's the word, um, you know, stay relevant surprisingly well in terms of going back into the 90s. Um, I really enjoyed it and I think it's a very good playthrough. If you ever want to see the original Fallout 1, I think I did a great job on it and you can check that out. Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Had to follow up Skyrim because it was so popular and I really love Oblivion 2 and wanted to do that. Um, I thought it was a great series. I thought I did kind of the best that I could have done with it, but the thing is near the end, um, everything kind of got too grindy. If you play Oblivion for a lot in, in a short amount of time, or if you upload it as a main series, you kind of tend to start to realize how similar a lot of the quests are, and how boring the combat gets over time, and that kind of hit me a little bit, so I wish I could have done better with that, sort of not getting so burnt out with it, but overall I think it's a very strong series, and a good love letter to Oblivion, and um, you know, it's 100%, so if you ever want to see everything in, in Oblivion, there you go, that's another gigantic fat ass series on my channel. Let's play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Really disappointed with this one. Near the end, I really started rushing it because it was not getting good views at all. I love this game to death and I really could have done it much better. Um, very disappointed with, with that one, man. I think, again, once again, the series came out good as best as I could have done with it, but was really getting bummed out with the views because it was a secondary series and it was getting uploaded so slowly. And I don't know what the reasons were, but um, point is that um, could have done much better with it. But we did finish it. We did do a whole Witcher 3 playthrough and you know I tried my best at the time but uh, I let the views get to me and I rushed the ending and for that I am a little bit regretful but still overall a good series I think. Probably something I would want to return to in the future and do better. The Morning Star podcast. Uh, we interviewed a lot of people that you might know such as Fudge Muppet. Let me in fact pull up the list here. We interviewed, let's see, uh, we had Will Berger, Lone Vault Wanderer, Reckless Eating, Camel Works, LaFave Bros, Fudge Muppet, and an extra introduction episode. Uh, I think I did a really good job with those. Um, unfortunately, of course, they never continued because I realized it was way more work putting together a podcast than I thought at the start, which I think a lot of people uh, realized a little bit too late. But for what it was, I think it was very, very strong. I got art artwork done for it. I love the thumbnails for it. Um, if you've ever wanted to hear me interview, Review your favorite Elder Scrolls and other uh, content creators, definitely check it out. Um, I am very proud of, of the episodes that I did, and hey, who knows, maybe in the future I can bring it back if I have time to work on it. Let's Play Fallout 2. Oh, the tragedy of Let's Play Fallout 2. I was really excited going into it because I wanted to uh, do it justice like Fallout 1, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. That series was an absolute nightmare to record. So many dead ends, so many, so many confusing moments so many glitches, bugs. Um, it was just a nightmare from start to finish. I think it's an amazing game, but I also think that um, trying to do it for a Let's Play blind is one of the hardest things ever, one of the hardest games ever to do in that situation. We did finish it eventually with stream, like I think a, a couple of streamed episodes. I was able to finally beat it. Um, and you know, that was one of the only ones that I kind of rage quit because I just was not enjoying it. So. I don't know, if you wanna watch me do it, it's there. Uh, I am not proud of it. I think genuinely it's one of the worst series I've ever done. That being said, uh, it is there. So if you wanna watch me play Fallout 2, it's there. I love the game, it's just not good for a Let's Play. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's play Fallout 76. If you want to see how shitty that game is and watch my experience go from kind of, okay, I'm trying to stay optimistic to, no, I'm sorry, this game's just pure shit. It's there. I, you know, I did, it's, it's a let's play of like an online 
game, so it's just kind of stream footage and stuff. Uh, hated that game, uh, really don't like it. Um, all of the Fallout 76 on my content, all the Fallout 76 content on my channel is very short lived, but there's a bunch of series if you wanna watch it. Let's Play Enderall is after that one. Um, that's a tragedy too because Let's play Enderall. Uh, that is the best mod ever made for Skyrim, hands down. But I covered it, I think, a little, a little uh, late, like a year after uh, the up, the whatever it's called, the update came out. Uh, what was it? Uh, Forgotten Stories. Uh, and also, I was getting very frustrated with the difficulty at the beginning of the playthrough, which I think caused some drop off. And it was just kind of tragic because it's an amazing mod. It's so, so good. Everyone should either watch it or play it because it's that good, I promise you. But I didn't do it justice near the start. I think I ended up doing it justice near the end and then we finished it on stream just because there was so much left that I didn't even realize. Um, overall, I'd say watch it if you're curious because I think it's, I think I did a good job with it, but um, there were just a lot of factors that kind of were hindering it from being the series that it could have been. Let's 100% Dark Souls Remastered. Please, if there's any series on this list that you were thinking, eh, maybe I should give that a shot, give this one a shot. I I really did a good job with this one, I feel. Uh, Dark Souls is so close to my heart. Again, it, it's a series that I love to death, Sekiro and Bloodborne included. Um, and I really researched the crap out of this, and I already knew a lot about this game. It's, it's in my top five favorite games of all time. Uh, and I really, really feel that I did a great job with it. And the response to it was also very, very, very positive. So if there is a series on this list that you have not given a shot in one, two, I would say Dark Souls uh, Remastered 100%. We did everything in the game, including Covenants, and I am just very proud of it. Uh, a series I'm not proud of is Let's Play Thief. Um, I thought, hey, you know, that's been suggested. Uh, that'll be fun to do. It was a pretty bad game, I'd say. It had some good things about it, and I enjoyed my time with it somewhat, but once again, uh, the views were terrible on it, as typical with a lot of these side series, um, just because I think I uploaded them way too, way too short, uh, like, way, they would only be like Tuesdays and Thursdays, so it'd be like two episodes a week and it would just go way too slow. Um, definitely could have done better with Let's Play Thief, but also it wasn't that great of a game, and yeah, it is what it is. I enjoyed it somewhat. If you wanna watch me play Thief, it's there. And finally, we're here in the present. Jeez, this video took way longer to make than I thought it was going to. Um, I didn't realize how many series I actually had, and I didn't even talk about all of them. Uh, so currently, at this point in time, when you're watching this, um, I'm doing a 100% of Dark Souls 3 on Twitch. Uh, I think it's been a, an extremely good series, uh, and I really have not been stuck on many parts at all, which surprises me. I'm uploading them onto this main channel just because I feel like uh, they came out really, really, really good. And even though they're extremely long five hour videos, I feel like if you want to watch it, you'd really enjoy them. So I'm uploading that here now. That's ongoing. Um, and then also, of course, let's 100% Fallout New Vegas, which the response has been absolutely fantastic. I've really been trying my best with this one, researching the crap out of it before every episode, really trying to give every episode my all, and I'm very, very, very proud of this one, and it's starting extremely strong. And I am not saying that because I'm currently doing it, and obviously I benefit from you watching what I'm currently doing. Uh, no, so far it's gearing up to be one of the best series I've ever done, and I'm not saying that lightly, I promise. So. If you want to watch the current stuff, it is ongoing. Uh, Let's 100% Dark Souls is over on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. And then, of course, uh, Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So that is almost all of my major completed series. Uh, like I said, there's others. If you want to check them out, there's other little odds and ends here and there. Um, but those are the ones of note, in my opinion. All of the links will be below in the description as well as in the comment section if you want to check them out. Um, and let me know what your favorites are or if you have anything that you'd like to say about any of those series. I'd really enjoy reading them. Um, the response on my channel lately has been extremely positive and I've been going through a rough patch. I'm going to be honest. I'll probably talk about this more in the future and it has just been helping me so much to see um, how well the channel and streams have been doing lately because for a while they weren't doing that great you know um, but now they seem to be going in the right direction and the comments have just been 
absolutely supportive and fantastic. Thank you so much for watching this Sub Saturdays. Again, we're doing a special stream uh, with VR Oculus Rift S uh, this uh, October 28th, Monday. Uh, please check it out. Um, I love VR stuff and this is just, I'm so excited for this game. Uh, please, please just come and check it out. Um, and that should be everything. Thank you so much for watching again and I will see you all tomorrow for some Dark Souls 3, 100%. Bye-bye.